Welcome to Automation Empire. My name is Neil Lars, and this is episode nine of our new Let's Play. Well, new and new. Well, it's been running for more than a week, so I don't know if it's really new anymore, but it's here and these are working. So what I need to keep in mind is if we look at, oops, I just paused it here. We would really like to get this one to 300. We're at 127. And if we claim all of these with 20 in it, that is another 10 times 20, so that's another 200. So if they need to go to less than 200, there's already seven plus another eight, so that's already 15. So I'm kind of feeling that if we switch this over soon-ish, and uh, what is the definition of soon-ish? I don't know. <laughs> then we want to switch it over so we start making money because our fortunes are dwindling. They are getting eaten up by the elusive tax authorities with their cumulative tar charging. Um, but we look at this, if we get those four, that's 16 additional in here. So if we have nine plus eight for each of these, well, that's not actually enough. Oh, there's one that needs to be claimed. I'm going to wait a bit with that. It can go further up. So I need to make sure that these eight plus whatever is in here is enough to get there. So that's actually probably going to be the biggest thing. So what we also can see is these are unfortunately filling up completely. And I'm unable to consume it fast enough, even though these are honestly quite fast. One in nine seconds, and that means we actually get two every nine seconds. So what we want to do today is work on our train system. And I don't think we really can... Is that is it even possible to do this? Okay, we're going to get this this train. Let's say this is the last train that we get in. Yeah, we get two more. And this one is still eight and 11. So this is actually looks good, right? If this one goes here, then it has 12 plus 11 or 12 plus eight. This one's still missing one. I do really need one more train in because I need this one to be 12 plus eight stored in here. Uh, like what this is 12. These are actually okay. This one is at 12 plus eight, 12 plus eight. 12, 11 plus eight. Okay, so this one needs to get a bit more and then we're happy. So that should be it from here. It means we can start carving this out. That one and um, damn it. Yeah, one, I think that's it. And we carry, oops, carry it up. Interesting how I can't drag it any further. Thought I could do that. And there, okay, on, on. Oh, let's actually just fill it up entirely here. Then go this way. Nope. I want to make sure that a whole train is full. This way. Yep. And then we fill up from this one. There's eight here. It's going to be a full train to go all the way back. There. All right. So this train is now going the long way back here. We might even not be able to get it all the way. And it goes in here. This is completely ready. Just not really getting anything done. This one actually works even with this low amount. Uh, that kind of gives us an indication that if this one is unable to fill it out, then yeah. All right. So we are. Whoop, what is that? Uh, just the sound that we were close to. And here comes the train. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, something, something. Okay, it's too empty. So it's 14. Let's start pouring it in here and just see some trucks getting loaded. Just to confirm that everything is working, like they are picking up and all that stuff. Goes in here and they are starting to work. We are just completely out of money until the trucks here start moving out with the higher value goods. Uh, but even then, is it even going to be enough? 
Yeah. So now we need more trucks coming in. See, train, a truck actually just passed by. And I think we might want to get these two hooked up here as well. Yeah, let's do that. Didn't make it. Yeah, and this one. I should be able to drag it from this location. This is such a temporary measure, but I think it's necessary right now. So from here, nope, from here. Yes, and from this location. Oh, like this. That's not a good place. Yeah, and this one out, this one out. There, and we have the maximum number. Yeah. Okay, so that's actually working. These ones continue to spin around there. This one spins here and it's obviously not able to keep up with all of them, but at least you can see that there's enough here. And the train comes in, another one comes in. It actually looks like there's still two empty. That's great. So we should be starting to see some actual positive profit here coming in. And this one, yeah, so we got profit. And now let's start looking at trains. Well, we're going to have to build trains somewhere that's not in the way uh, of anything else. And that's kind of, I don't know how far out we can get. This might be a location. Wow, we have a lot of gold here that we're not transporting in. That's bad, by the way, right? Where the hell do we have any space? I think this is the only place we have some kind of space. Here, maybe. Okay, so let's figure out how the trains work. All right, so we start with a train track entry and a train track exit. Okay, and I don't know how many trains we need. Oh, insufficient funds. Okay, so here we go again. And these are the tracks. Yeah, this is um this is rather unfun to be in this position. Is it all processed? Yep, it is. So we claim all of it. That's our science boost. And we should have enough to reach the milestone. What we don't have enough of is actually exporting goods to and now we can clear this up. And we of course killed our power because this was apparently only connected through this line here. Which we kind of knew, but okay. Okay, and oh, that is actually needed power as well. Here. Let's see, and there's something about this having, having nice little turn, turning circle here. Where could I lead it out? Could maybe lead it out. Having the stations here and then lead it out into that location. Maybe. Now we got a lot of money from just simply. And let's see. This is how it's being loaded. And this is. The thing I feel is that. Doesn't this seem uh, odd? 
And then the question is, does it fit? It does. Okay. So that seems to be how we want to load it. I don't know how many of these we want, but I suspect we might want just uh, what we build it here and here. And you just here and then back so they'll adjust themselves there. Okay, well, I like this. Uh, what I even like more it might actually be can I then just get you to go back? Now that's the next question is I mean, I like this. I think. Train exit should be on this row here. Boom. That should work, and the train should now be up power connected. It is a train entry, and it's coming in. So that actually is something we want out here. Maybe that's actually a better way to do this. So we want to unload this by carts. Wouldn't that just be super easy by doing this, um, just dragging a minecart past it like this, and then just sucking it up like that? Like that. I don't think it's even necessary to have two of those, but yeah, so maybe that's a different way of doing it. Okay. So what do we have? We have, this is iron and this is coal and this is iron. That's actually kind of unfortunate, but we have steel or gold here <clears throat> in large quantities ready to use. So what if we get this gold out here and combine it with coal and we combine it also with what is it this is um this is we need the three items right we have three items coal iron and gold and we have the three combinations capacitors steel and gold fuel so if we take this gold and combine it with that one we get gold fuel we, we take the gold and combine it with that one we get something else but we really want three trains out here I don't know if we can make three trains, but I can certainly try. Well, let's start down here. We are going to need some money, and that's something we somehow don't have still. Lovely. I only need three of these for supporting. And we're going to go at this one again here. Yep, and we need a little factory. They're unfortunately a bit expensive. Uh, this is going to be one of those small ones, right? Yep. What is what is this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six by five. Okay, cool. We'll make a six by five. And this length is six. One, two. Three, four, five, right? That's five in length. Unfortunately, this is just way too expensive to for us to do this. But this is nice. I mean, making it really close. Okay, and yeah. Now we build it, <clears throat> we are still unable to get more money from this. And you know, actually I have an idea. I have an idea. This thing, we can ship that directly in. How about building a track from here? I don't know if we even can make this actually work. Well, 
Whoops, I just clicked out the game somehow. All right, this one. And make it longer if you're hitting. And it works, perfect. Turn, turn, get up a level. Ah, it does work. I don't know if that's exactly the right place, but it doesn't matter. And this is all about trying to take some of our product and turning it into profit before we get completely bankrupt. Okay, it was one off, but it was close. Boom. There. Let's try and see this one. And if we say that skip, I think there was someone mentioning that uh, one of the other ones was in an incorrect skip, but let's, uh, let's try this one. See if it, it works. The good thing is about this one is that we are able to consume a lot of this material that we have already done and we are unable to get more. Uh, skip one. Doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't make it any faster at least. It's still only one of them loading at a time. It might look marginally better doing this. We can get some research to get some additional things here. Not much. We also want some trains. We got the f enough for a few of these trains. All right, so let's see if this one actually works. Can I then also do skip on this? I don't think it matters. When is the next train coming in? I don't know if this train works, but uh, or this train setup works. I also absolutely know that it's not going to be like this in the future, but at this point I'm a bit desperate for making some bank here. So let's do that. Now each train station. So that's one, two, three, four. Looking good. Oh, I heard the sound. Let's see. Sweet. Looks nice in a gray and industrial way. Okay, so that one loads the first. Can I do the skip? No, they can't do any skips or anything. Okay, so somehow, uh, since they're all connected, it's sort of the total that drops down. There are five wagons on this, so I don't know if I should have five of these. Ah, I'll be pushing in more anyway. So it looks like it's only one of them that loads. And what I'm interested in is, is it? Nope. It doesn't start the next one until this one actually leaves. That's a problem, I think. Because that means the loading time here actually slows down the train by a lot. What options do we have for researching? We can do faster trains. Oh, I couldn't even do that. Damn. Uh, let's see. So this one. Okay, let's have a look. One up. Oh, that one. That one. That one. All right. That's a bit of gold here. There we go. That helped a bit. And now this one starts. So only when it exits does it start counting towards the next. Ouch. That's not actually great. Um, I think I need two more wagons and I can't do that because there will be five trains. So that one. There. So if we fill up 20 of those, then it should be fine. Good. We can continue on our little path here, our little construction. Now we got just a bit of money to keep us happy, I hope.
And let's see, it comes in here. So from this location, uh, gets loaded here. Yes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. really like the tap to uh, to pick things up I think it's very convenient step three step two step one step zero once you get into the habit of, of building stuff like this then it very much becomes one more of the same Okay, you are bring it up, you bring it up, you bring it down, and you bring it out. Yep. So everything looks good, and what only thing we need is a bit of power. Mm, where do we get the? I think we'll get up the power from over here. So we have like more places to get power from. And let's also get a minecart. That's probably a good idea. And let's also, you know, kind of important, get these outbound. There. Sweet. All right. So we got the first little minecart. Now the next one comes up, and that's uh, I want to take this one, not directly in, but I want to process it into some advanced material. And uh, that means we need a factory of this sort. Mm, what they what is it I want? Oh yeah, it's because I punched holes in these sides. So I actually should let it go straight through and then I could let these go out to the side. So this is click out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight by nine. And it is on the side of the nine that the two come in. But they can come in from either direction, yeah? So that means if this one is coming in here. And that one's coming in here, then on the side of the nine, they go out and then, yeah. Okay. So basically I want to make, I can make that here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we just click out just to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Way counting with needles. There we go. That's a good thing. And this one can now go straight through and start unloading once we've built our facility in here. Um, okay, so if it's nine on this way, that means the stuff that has to be in the middle is probably going to be in here, yeah? Three on that side, three on this side, four on the side, four on that side. Yes, that sounds about right. Let's make sure we have inbound, 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 inbound. Reservoir, reservoir. Oops, that one and that one. Okay. And we get Yep. And the other ones here. And here, and tracks, mining tracks here, and then I'll take that one. Okay, so now I can actually punch holes in this. I'll punch hole here, I'll punch hole here, and punch a hole there, and there. So I'm a bit cautious because they uh, once you punch a hole, you can't unpunch it. That's like pretty much all sorts of punching. Once you punch something, it cannot be unpunched. Ah, philosophy. Yeah. Okay, I think the trains are helping. I'm not sure it's enough. And then I'm going to be punching some holes 
in the top floor. I think that's going to be in the top floor. Sure. Let's hope that's right. And we will go... Let's try this. That was the part we kind of failed last time. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's also done. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, that's bad. Um, hopefully we can do this. Shit. Okay, don't mind me and my uh, wall hole punching skills. And it just exactly works, despite my stupidity. There. Okay. Now, how the... <clears throat> are we going to get this back? Because that one needs to go out here. Ah, uh, that's kind of something we didn't read. Oh, let's let's do something silly. I don't even know if it's possible, but I'm going to do it as the last thing we'll ever do in this episode. Uh -huh. I don't know. Can it, even, can it go above? I'm, I'm just having a... No, I thought it could go above. That would be so awesome. All right, so we have to do this awfulness. Actually, it doesn't have to be this height. Okay, that one. Get down to one. Weird how it's just not as easy. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And uh, I think you're going the wrong way. Yeah, we're gonna go the shortest distance from pickup to delivery. Okay, and let's see. I want to f hook this one up as well. And let's see, so. See, that doesn't work. So we're actually going to get the... And this one in between. Good. That's because uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Get, just get get it. It has to go below here before going up. Otherwise, it would it would conflict. Ah. So next question is where is it? All right, that was working. Where is my? Okay, it is still filling up and it looks like it's still something left. Let's uh, watch it actually become or go in here, which means you know, actually I want this one to go. It should go back at this point. This could probably be improved, but let's uh, let's just go with this one for now. Now that one can go out to... <clears throat> I I keep going like, yeah, well, you know what, we could we could do that. We could just do that one. That's okay. That's okay. It's totally okay. It's totally okay. Right? This one? One, two, three, four. 
They're working. This is like lovely gold fuel we get now. Yummy. And that should be worth way more. So we're now exporting, well, not now, but soonish. Two. And how's this one coming along? Oh, okay, this is actually still having something. I don't know if we can. Yeah, this train sucks. We need more train, more train speed. Ow. Ow. I don't think it actually can even unload. No, it can't unload as long as this one is full. But it's going to be fine. So we are exporting gold. And then after that, we are going to export gold. We'll just add a fuel train here so it can at least fill up the train. And we use the train as storage while, while waiting for this train to empty. Good. We have trains. Good. I hope that you're happy. I am. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this series and that you will be checking back next time when we try to scale up and keep ahead of the tax curve. Until next time, as always, stay effective.